A few episodes ago we were talking about deploying your websites automatically through Git on your cPanel uh, to your shared hosting. Now, it worked quite well in the episode, but some of the viewers have been reporting some problems with that Git setup on the cPanel. So I decided to create this episode, with it, which I think is going to be much better workflow, because first of all you are using GitHub, not Git that you get with cPanel and uh, we are going to be using github actions now this approach is much better because of course because with github you get much more options with your code versioning and also it has github actions and uh, and it's much nicer to use so in this episode we are going to use github actions and github to deploy our website to the shared hosting uh, that website is going to have a staging branch and a master branch, so the master branch is going to go to our production and the staging branch is going to go to our staging server where our clients can see the changes that we made and if they approve them then we can push those changes to the production or to, or to the uh, live website. So that is what we are going to be doing in this episode. <laughs> So first of all, let's create our project. Uh, I'm going to call my project GitHub Actions. I'm going to create a new file in it. And I'm just going to call it index.html. And in it, I'm just going to put some uh, boilerplate code and change the title to GitHub Actions. And we are just going to add an h1 tag and call this, this is our production because this is going to be in, in our master so this is our production uh, we're going to, going to save this and now uh, we are going to create a new folder uh, called github or dot github and in it i'm going to create another folder called workflows and in it i'm going to add yml file which is going to be called master dot yml in here we are going to define our github actions which are going to push our site to our shared hosting so as you can see uh, right here on the left side you have github workflows and master yml and also i'm going to call uh, create another file which is going to be called staging yml okay so now we have these two files now, uh, what we are going to be using for these GitHub actions is actually this action right here, which is called FTP deploy. And I'm just going to copy it. Of course, you can find it in marketplace actions FTP deploy on GitHub. Uh, we are going to just copy this and then we are going to change some stuff to it. So I'm just going to go to my code editor and in master.yml I'm just going to paste this in. And now here it says on push. So whenever you push something to your GitHub repository, this is going to trigger. Now we don't want this to trigger every time. We only want this to trigger when you push something on the master branch. So instead of doing just on push, we are going to delete push and just leave on let me make this bigger sorry okay so and now i'm going to say push and i'm going to say branches and then i'm just going to say master the indentation is very important inside of yml files so keep an eye on that so what we are saying right here, when you push something to master, then you deploy my code to my shared hosting. So there are going to be some jobs, web deploy, uh, it's going to get the latest code, sync the files and push them to the server. Now you need to define the server. And in my case, that is going to be this. So d 3 fcomcom Of course, for you, it's going to be something different. Uh, and now, as you can see, for username and passwords, we are using secrets. So I'm going to also use a secret for the username. Secrets. So it's going to be secrets FTP username and secrets FTP password. And there is one more thing that we need to define. At least I need to define it. You may not need to define it if you are pushing the code inside the root 
uh, of where you log in with your FTP, but I have to define it right here and it's going to be called server dir and it's going to be public HTML. So it's going to be called public HTML production.watchlearn.com. Okay, save this. And so when the master branch is, is pushed to a repository, this is going to trigger. Next, I'm going to copy all of this and just put it on the staging YML and I'm going to call this branch staging. Okay, and uh, everything else stays pretty much the same except uh, for this server dir. It's not going to be production, but it's going to be staging. And let me just show you how that looks. So if we go to our browser, I have staging watchlearn.com. If I refresh it, as you can see, it has nothing in it as of yet. And also I have production watchlearn.com, which is also just an empty folder. Okay, so now that we have this set up, uh, let's push our code for the first time to GitHub. Now I'm go just going to create a new repository going to call it github actions actions and it's just going to be uh, public directory and that's about it so we create the repository and now you can follow these instructions right here uh, we are we want to push the existing repository from the command line so first of all i'm just going to go to my directory in my terminal and i'm just going to do git init so that we initialize our git and then I'm just going to git add something and go going to do git commit it's just going to be first commit first commit and now I'm going to go to the github and add this so we are just going to uh, add git add origin so that uh, git knows where to push our files and now all we have to do is do git push origin master. Okay, great. Now, if we go to GitHub, refresh this page, as you can see, now we have some files and folders in it. And if you go to actions, you already see, you can already see that our first commit is actually committing and the GitHub actions are doing something. Of course, this is going to fail. And this is going to fail because we defined these secrets right here. So FTP username and FTP password. Uh, but Git does not have those secrets set up just yet so how do you set up those secrets so you go to settings for your project you go to secrets and now here you create new repository secret click it and as you can see it's called action secrets new secret so the first secret uh, is going to be called ftp username and here you would add your username for your ftp of course and you can just add a secret now you can add a new repository secret, which is going to be called FTP password, just like we defined and your password. Of course, your password for your FTP and you just add that secret. Now that you have added your username and your password secrets, you can go to actions again. You can click on this first commit and you can click right here, rerun jobs and you say rerun all jobs and then you wait a little bit for this deploy to be finished and as you can see right now it says our deployment is finished and you can click right here to see all, all of the details so setting up the job getting the latest code syncing the files and so on so uh, you can check out what is actually going on right here. So as you can see, we are uploading index HTML uh, to our public HTML production, watch, learn, and so on. So if I now go to my production server, production.watchlearn.com, save it. As you can see, this is our production. Okay, great. So now let's push something to our staging server. And first of all, we are just going to create a branch. We are going to merge that branch to the staging branch and then we are going to push all of that uh, to GitHub. So first of all, I'm going to create a new branch. So git create branch and I'm going to call it staging. 
okay and now I'm on a staging branch now I'm going to return to master check out to master and now from here I'm going to create another branch which is going to be called new feature you should always create your feature branches from master uh, because uh, if you have some other things going on on your staging branch uh, that could conflict what you're doing with uh, things on the master branch of course so your master branch should always be clean and uh, have all the approved features in it so I'm just going to call this new feature okay so now we are on the feature branch and now I'm just going to go into index.html and do so p this is our new feature okay save this and now I'm just going to go to my terminal and here if I do ls as you can see I'm currently in a feature branch in new feature branch I'm going to go and git add everything git commit new feature and I'm going to push this to the new feature branch git push origin new feature okay so git push origin new feature we push this to the feature branch and now if we go to our github repository so right here and we go to actions as you can see nothing is happening right now uh, but we pushed something to the feature branch and as you can see we have a master branch and the new feature branch right here right so nothing is happening because we of course we defined github actions to trigger only when you push something to master and only when you push something to staging okay so now in our terminal i'm just going to check out to the staging branch and i'm going to merge new feature branch into the staging branch new feature i'm going to git push origin staging and now we are pushing something to the staging branch now if we go to our github actions as you can see now this is deploying we are going to just wait just a little bit for this to be deployed okay so now that this has deployed we can check out our staging.watchlearn.com and as you can see it says it still says this is our productions because because I didn't change that but it has this this is our new feature so I can go to staging again and change this this is our staging just to be more clear and we go to our terminal and just do git add git commit and just push it to staging go to our browser check if this works as you can see change text is currently deploying so now if we go right here it says this is our staging this still says this is our production and of course now if you want if your client approves the feature that you made you can merge it into master branch and push it and that feature is going to be uh, live on your live site of course read the documentation for FTP deploy as you can see there uh, there are some options that you can set up here like protocol local directory state name excludes includes and so on and also you have uh, some common examples for example if you want to do something with react angular or view then you would add some new steps so that they will build your project right so if you're working on react uh, the last step right here before syncing files would be npm install and npm run build and so on so check out the documentation and as you can see i think this workflow is much better than the workflow that we developed in the previous video because here you are actually using github and github is pretty great right now uh, you have private repositories for free and you have many many options including these github actions which as you can see can be very useful 
So this is it for this episode guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.